I'm sorry, Roxanne. It just came out, darling. I didn't mean to spoil your party. Hello, Morris. I'll leave her alone, Sim. Just tell her the truth. Darling. I got pregnant when I was 15. And your granddad sent me away to this place, didn't he, Morris? I didn't know she was going to come looking for me, did I? But I've got to tell you the truth, darling. I'm glad she did. It ain't her fault, sweetheart. She didn't even want to come. She didn't want to hurt you no more than I did. Oh, you tell her, sweetheart. It's true. She didn't want to upset you. I'm sorry. said any such thing. She's twisted everything as usual. Yes, you did, Monica. Well, he was wrong, weren't you? Because she had to come back, ain't you, sweetheart? I always thought you should have known, Roxanne. You should have told us, him. Of course I should have told her, Morris. But I didn't think there was ever going to be no need to. You seem to have told all and sundry. <laughs> Meaning me, I suppose. And why shouldn't he arm his wife, after all? Then why don't you behave like his wife? What? Why ain't you give him no kids? Quiet, Cynthia. That's between Morris and me. You're so selfish, Monica. You might not have wanted them, but he did. Shut up, ma'am. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't I? There are things you know nothing about. Morris. Like what? She can't have kids. Simple as that. She's physically incapable of having children. We've had every test known to medical science. She's been pushed around, prodded, poked, had operations. We've had 15 years of it, and she can't have a baby. And I love you to bits. But it's almost destroyed our relationship. You know it has. There. I said it. So where's the bolt of lightning? Secrets and lies. We're all in pain. Why can't we share our pain? I've spent my entire life trying to make people happy. And the three people I love the most in the world hate each other's guts. I'm in the middle. I can't take it anymore. I'm sorry, Hortense. But you are a very brave person. Very stupid, yes. No, you're not. You wanted to find the truth and you were prepared to suffer the consequences. I admire for that. I mean it. Lucky, Cynthia. Have you really been working in a factory? No. What'd you do then? I'm an optometrist. Hmm. Well, welcome to the family.
name Bingham, your father. He's from America. I met him on holiday, any dorm. He's a medical student. One morning I come down and he wasn't there no more. But he was a nice man. He was. Was my father a nice man? Oh, don't break my heart, darling. 